Hello YouTube, my name Aaron. I come here to tell you automotive loans upside down mean people owe more on car than their car worth. This mean people try to sell car they have to pay out in order to get rid of it cause depreciation. So I want to ask you a question. Do you like car? If you like car, you probably want to buy Toyota or Lexus because they hold value better. And if you invest in one, buy one one or two years old, pay less for it. This whole thing happened bad when COVID kick in. Not good for people. They're overpaying for the automobile. Then the maintenance and the repair and the insurance add it all up and you have nothing but a bad deal. People have been driving around. They got to pay extra for the gas. And then when they take it to the dealer, the, the service people lie to them and charge them five to ten times more than they need to to maintain the vehicle. You know, you could change your oil yourself for about 30 bucks in 20 minutes, but the dealer charged like about a hundred for the same thing. What a scam. It's a ripoff. Yeah, automobile dealers, their service department is scam, is ripoff. I here to tell you the truth. That's just objectively true. Many people be scammed by mechanic. Auto mechanic rip people off. Not all of them. There's honest mechanic. I don't give a list because I don't live in the same locale as other people. But what I can tell you is that many German cars and European cars bring wagons of money, for example, BMW, if they get up around 80,000, 90,000 miles, get an OBD tool for the BMW because you're going to get codes and sensor errors galore. These things malfunction more often than clouds form over Western Washington. If you drive it, it will throw the mill light, the, the engine, master warning light. It is going to blow up. It will overheat the the water pump, its impellers made out of plastic, the intake manifolds made out of plastic. They're making engine parts that should be made out of aluminum, out of plastic to save money at the manufacturing. They say it's carbon neutral, it reduces the manufacturing emissions, it's eco-friendly. No, it's so that when the vehicle is about eight years old and then in plastic, hot and cold, hot and cold, it fatigues and falls apart. Everybody knows this is true. If you have something old made of plastic, the plastic gets weird as it gets old, especially if it's sunlight, hot and cold. So the automakers are deliberately doing this. And you know that what I'm saying is true because if you perform a Google search, you'll find all the same information. It's just facts. It's factually accurate. It's true. I share the truth. You're getting boned. It's a bad deal. Autos cost too much. Don't overpay. Get a slightly used one. Read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Get a used car. Don't overpay. Okay? and change the engine oil more often. Listen to Scotty Kilmer on YouTube. It's true. Engine oil is the blood of your engine. Change it more often. And if you have an automatic transmission, have them change the fluid and the filter in that one every 40,000 miles too. You got a differential, change the gear oil in there. It is not designed to last forever. These automakers said this forever fluids. That's not true. There is no such thing as a forever fluid in an automobile. The coolant doesn't last forever. The automobile doesn't last forever. Maybe after 20, 30 years, a couple hundred thousand miles, it's a junkyard junker or it goes into a museum or you baby pamper it, keep it in the garage and make it last as long as possible. Okay, different things for different people. I'm not here with the one size answer for everybody. I'm just warning you overall, the auto industry is collapsing in America. I don't know about the rest of the world because I'm American. I follow American things. America!